Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, please sit down. Oh, you're too kind. My name is Rebecca McCorkendale, and I'm the Assistant Library Director and Creative Director at Gretna Public Library in Gretna, Nebraska. And today, I'll be speaking about how art and libraries came to be an important part of my life. I've always viewed the world from a somewhat artistic perspective. I wanted to wear my pretty red dress with my purple tights. I wanted to be a professional singer who rode unicorns. My first memory of visiting a library had nothing to do with the books. Instead, it was of a stained glass window that shone colorful abstract shapes all over the books and bookcases. That simple artwork convinced me that libraries were uniquely magical. Over the years, my focus shifted from art to theater and finally to literature. I transitioned into the library world after I realized that the corporate bookstore world wasn't fueling my creative core. My intention was to become a children's librarian, but instead ended up in a management position. Again, my creativity was rarely part of the job, and I was questioning whether or not I belonged in the library world. Then, after a very intense annual review, my library director understood how much the artistic aspect of the job meant to me, and the creative director position was born. With this new title, I had the exciting opportunity to create my own job description. Once I was given the green light to take our library into uncharted creative territory, I absolutely fell in love with my job. My focus is on our children's library, which is a separate building that houses our children's collection. I had a vision of making this space into a very special place within our community. I wanted our children's library to be like a Pixar film, where our team creates an experience that both kids and parents would enjoy, and that would keep them coming back. What can I say? I still enjoy theatricality. Instead of being as technologically driven as Pixar, though we are in our own way, we focus on innovating and being creative with materials that almost any household has access to. We want both young and old to have their imaginations ignited and to find inspiration in everyday things. Every month of the year, we give our library a theme, from concepts like April showers to more quirky celebrations such as Decemberly, where we celebrate the artwork of Ed Emberly. An added bonus is that these themes give our children's librarian a framework for programming if she so chooses, and many times she chooses to do so. After I met my artist husband and he taught me Photoshop basics, that's when I had my own personal artistic revolution. And four years later, I consider myself an artist and not an imposter or simple crafter. My husband challenged me and my job allowed me to experiment whether it be with marketing or decor. The most amazing part of being an artist librarian is when other librarians, sometimes from around the world, contact me to let me know that they're using my artwork. Every email that contains images of stickers, buttons, or posters that have been made with my art just blows my mind in the best way possible. I've heard librarians say that they hate decorating and feel that it's a waste of time. Well, for their community and their library, that may be true. However, I hope that they're not unintentionally stifling a creative soul on their team, and I have a few suggestions to make decorating less time-consuming and or dreaded. At minimum, they could get a fun mascot that they can either decorate or Photoshop. It's a great way to promote the library along with a bit of branding. But it's also a quick and easy outlet for creative staff members. But what if you don't have creative staff members? Speak with art teachers at school to see if their classes would like to contribute to a library art show. Let the teens or other community members take over the monthly or even quarterly changes. Find creative souls in your community who would love to share their talents, whether it be in a permanent gallery, a special program, or even by decorating your children's area. I would like to leave you with one of the most unbelievably awesomest compliments that I have ever received. One day, my brother sent me a few texts about his daughter, Finley, and here's what they said. I'm in trouble. Finley said to me at the bus stop, I don't know if I want to be an artist or a librarian. So, you are her hero now. I told her she could be both, like her aunt. So, go back to your libraries with new artistic perspective. Brainstorm with your staff about how your team can get more creative. Inspire kids with even the simplest art. Kick it up a notch and impress their parents. Someday you too might get the awesomest compliment ever and discover that you've enriched someone's life in an unexpected artsy way.